So another nice thing about thinking about um, parts of graphs as aesthetics getting or data mapped onto parts of the graphs is that you can actually move beyond just an x-axis and a y-axis and color and um, other elements like that. There are, there are ways of mapping other things onto graphs like time. Um, you can't really map time onto like a static graph, but you could animate something using time. Um, so for instance, the Gapminder um, animation that you did for your reading, the four minute video, um, that used time, it used an animation to show changes over time, but also had um, continent mapped onto the graph and um, size, a population size mapped onto the graph. And so it still had those elements, but it had the additional element of time. Um, there are ways to do this in R. There's a, a package called ggAnimate um, that lets you um, essentially map variables onto a time aesthetic. Um, and so here you can see this is the Gapminder plot again, but faceted by continent. Um, it's still typical G, or ggplot code. The only difference is this: these few extra layers here just tell it to use essentially the year column as uh, as, as the time variable and animates it that way. Um, you can also do fancier things like mapping sound as um, a possible aesthetic here. Um, the Wall Street Journal a few years ago has uh, created this, this fancy data visualization that shows um, the internal rhyme in lyrics from Hamilton and from other rap music that, that Lin-Manuel Miranda kind of borrowed from as he was writing Hamilton. And so if you click on this link, I recommend it. We won't do it here because um, it won't record very well. Uh, but if you look at, at that website there, what it shows is it essentially maps the consonants of specific phrases from Hamilton and from other rap music. So we have Kendrick Lamar here. And so you can see the internal rhyme and kind of the changing between different um, vowel sounds throughout the music. And it's mapped onto sound. If you click on this play button, you can actually see it going across and you can hear it going across. Um, and so it's mixing a whole bunch of different senses all at once. So it's essentially mapping the sound aesthetic um, to the music itself. And so that's kind of an exciting way of thinking about graphics. Um, you can also use video um, to combine animation, time, and sound. And so if you, you should watch this video. Um, this is from Hurricane Florence um, in 2018, um, or yeah, in 2018. Um, the Weather Channel wanted to demonstrate how dangerous it is to have storm surges. Um, and so they created this animation. And so you essentially uh, have kind of an animation mapped onto a new aesthetic, like a danger aesthetic. I don't know. Um, you have lots of different kind of extra graphical elements that, that convey more of the story here. And so I recommend watching this and it's kind of an exciting graphic and it, it went viral back in 2018 in the data visualization world because it's a it's a unique way of representing time and sound and kind of other elements of, of storms and hurricanes. So check that out.